Hi, I'm CJ and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you can join the community. Thank you! So for this video, I'm going to show you how to make this crochet vest with simple cable stitch. This top is for size small but if you want to adjust the size, kindly read the instructions carefully. First, start with the slip knot. And then, continue on making chains depending on the width of your top. I made a total of 78 chains for 15 inches. Chain 3, make a half double crochet on the third chain from the hook. And then, continue on making half double crochet on every stitch. So now we have our first row. Next, you're going to make a double crochet row. Chain 2. Turn your work. Double crochet on the very first stitch. And then again, continue on making double crochet on the remaining stitches. So at the end of the row, don't forget to place one double crochet on that stitch. After the double crochet row, we will repeat the half double crochet row. Chain 2, turn your work, make a half double crochet on the very first stitch. And then make half double crochet until you reach the end of the row. So after that, we will proceed with the cable stitch row. Chain 2 and then make double crochet on the next 10 stitches. After the 10 double crochet, continue on making double crochet on the next 5 stitches. So now we have a total of 15 DC. After that, we will proceed with the simple cable stitch. You're going to make a front post treble crochet from the previous row of double crochet. So now we have our first front post. Next, we're going to place the second front post on the third double crochet. 
you skip that second double crochet and proceed with the third double crochet. For the third front post, you're going to place it on the fourth double crochet. After that, we're going to make another front post and you're going to place it on the second double crochet or the stitch that we skipped. And for the last front post, you're going to place it on the fifth double crochet. So that's how the first row of cable stitch will look like. Next, you're going to skip five stitches one two three four five and you're going to place double crochet on the sixth stitch make sure that you skip five stitches So after that, you will continue on making double crochet. So we're going to repeat what we did on the other side. This will be the 10 double crochet. Next. This will be the 5 double crochet and then this will be the cable stitch. So you will proceed on making double crochet until you reach the part where we're going to place the cable stitch. Again, we're going to start with the cable stitch. First, make a front post on the first double crochet. And then, the second front post, you're going to place it on the third double crochet. That you're going to skip five stitches and then proceed on making double crochet on the sixth stitch and then you will continue on making double crochet until you reach the end of the row 
So that will be the pattern for the cable stitch row. Again, don't forget to place a double crochet on the very last stitch. So after the cable stitch row, again we're going to make a half double crochet row. Chain 2 and then make a half double crochet on the very first stitch. And you will continue on making half double crochet until you reach the end of the row. After that, chain 2, turn your work, double crochet on the very first stitch, and then continue on making double crochet until you reach the cable stitch part. So for the cable stitch, you're going to place the front post on the very first stitch. And then for the second front post, you're going to place it on the third stitch or on the middle stitch. And for the third front post, you're going to place it on the fourth stitch. And for the fourth front post, you're going to place it on the second stitch. Lastly, for the 5th front post, place it on the 5th stitch. And then, you're going to skip 5 stitches and make a double crochet on the 6th stitch. And you will continue on making double crochet until you reach the next cable stitch. So again, we're going to repeat the same procedure. Front pose on the first stitch. Second front post, you're going to place it on the second stitch or the middle one. And then place the third front post on the fourth stitch. For the fourth front post, you're going to place it on the second stitch. And then Lastly, for the 5th front post, you're going to place it on the 5th stitch. And then you're going to count 5 stitches because you're going to skip 5 stitches. And then place a double crochet on the 6th stitch. And you will proceed on making double crochet until you reach the end of the row. Mm -hmm. 
basically you're going to repeat the half double crochet row and the cable stitch row alternately so i made a total of 18 rows of cable stitch row which means that on each cable stitch row there will be one hdc row So you'll notice that it will look like this. It's normal if it's folding. As I said, don't make your tension too tight on the cable stitch part. And then you can stretch it gently. So after that, we will proceed with the sleeve part. Which means that we're going to skip the 10 stitches. Chain 2 and then make a slip stitch on the very first stitch. And then continue on making slip stitch on the next 10 stitches. And you will continue this row until you reach that stitch. So it will look like this and you're going to make one more row of cable stitch. So after that one row, we're going to proceed with the v-neck part. First, you're going to find the middle stitch. And then chain 2. Turn your work, make a half double crochet until you reach the stitch marker. So we're going to start on making the crease. 
you're going to place the first half double crochet on the stitch before the stitch marker and then the second stitch on the middle stitch so that's how you're going to make a decrease or two half double crochet together chain two and we're going to proceed with the cable stitch row you're going to make double crochet and then you're going to proceed with the cable stitch and then double crochet again until you reach the last stitch so after the cable stitch row again we're going to make the decrease half double crochet row chain 2 and then make a half double crochet on the very first stitch and then proceed until there's two stitches left on the last two stitches you're going to make a decrease or two half double crochet together and then chain two again you're going to repeat the cable stitch row and you're going to repeat that alternately until you are satisfied with the length of your top so after that chain two for the last row we're going to make a half double crochet row continue on making half double crochet on every stitch and then slip stitch at the end of the row so now we're going to make the other side first you're going to attach your yarn at the middle stitch and then you're going to proceed with the decrease right away make two half double crochet together and then continue on making half double crochet until you reach the last stitch chain two turn your work you're going to proceed with the cable stitch row After that, chain 2 and proceed with the HDC decrease row. Make 2 half double crochet together. So after that, you're going to repeat the same number of rows that you made with the other side. Here's how the front part looks like. Now that we finished the front part, we're going to proceed with the back part. So before we proceed, oh my gosh, you haven't subscribed yet? Nah, just joking. For any questions, you can DM me on my Instagram account. Thank you. so here's the 18 rows for the back part and you're going to repeat the two rows after you skip the 10 stitches the two rows before you proceed with the v-neck
Like what I said, you're going to repeat the slip stitch with the 10 stitches and then you're going to proceed with HDC row. You're going to make two rows of cable stitch. So now we made the two rows of cable stitch, you're going to make another five rows without any decrease. So the reason why five rows, because I made 10 rows with the front part, so the half of 10 rows is five rows. So you're going to proceed on making half double crochet until you reach the stitch before the middle stitch. And you're going to place a slip stitch on the stitch before the middle stitch. Again, make a slip stitch on the middle stitch and then another slip stitch. Don't forget to place your stitch marker again. And then continue on making half double crochet on the remaining stitches. Chain 2, turn your work, proceed with the cable stitch row. After that, you're going to place a slip stitch before and after the slip stitch that we did from the previous row. There you go, you're going to place a slip stitch before the slip stitch that we did and then you're going to proceed on making slip stitch on the top of the slip stitch that we did from the previous row basically on each row you're going to have another slip stitch on both sides and it will form like a u-shape So after the slip stitch part, again you're going to proceed with the cable stitch row. So you're going to repeat with the HDC row. So remember that you're going to place a slip stitch before and after. Again, you're going to place a slip stitch after that. And you're going to proceed with the HDC row. So you're going to repeat these rows until you have the enough rows. Just like what you did with the front part. So after the 5 rows, it will look like this and then chain 2, turn your work, make a half double crochet until you reach the end of the row and then you're going to make a slip stitch. So now that we finished the front and back part, we're going to place a single crochet on both sides.
First, attach the yarn. And then you're going to make two single crochet on each row. It means that two single crochet for one row of half double crochet and two single crochet for one row of double crochet. So when you reach the 10 stitches, chain one and then turn your work make one single crochet on every stitch so remember when you reach this part you're going to place one single crochet on each row only one single crochet and it will look like this if you're going to place only one single crochet on that part. So after you finish on placing single crochet on both front and back part, we're going to connect the two parts. First, attach the yarn. And then chain 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Add 3 more chains. 1, 2, 3. And then single crochet on the third chain from the hook. Proceed on making single crochet on the remaining stitches. And after that, you're going to place slip stitch on the next two stitches. Turn your work. Proceed on making single crochet on the remaining stitches. 
Don't forget to place single crochet on the very last stitch. Chain 1, turn your work, single crochet on the very first stitch, and then make a single crochet using the back loop. Repeat until you reach the last stitch. After that, you're going to make a slip stitch on the next two stitches. And you're going to repeat the same procedure. Turn your work, single crochet using the back loop only. So that's how you're going to make the base part or the ribbing. So after that, we're going to connect the last two ends. Make a single crochet on the very last stitch and then proceed with the single crochet so the two ends will be connected. So at the end of the row, make a slip knot and then cut the yarn. Don't forget to insert the yarn. So now that we finished the ripping at the bottom part, we're going to proceed with the sleeves. Again, tie the yarn. Instead of chain 8, we're going to make chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Add 3 more chains. And then single crochet on the third chain from the hook. And you're going to repeat the same procedure just like what you did with the bottom part. You're going to repeat the same procedure all around. After that, again we're going to connect the two ends using single crochet. And then make a slip knot, cut the yarn, insert the excess yarn. Repeat the same procedure for the other side. Lastly, for the v-neck part, we're going to place single crochet on every stitch. You're going to make single crochet all around and when you reach the starting point, make a slip knot and you're done. 